Hello, hello. Hi, Gillian. How are you? Looking good. Perfect. Hi, Julian. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Fabulous. And you? Great. Great. No complaints. Nice. For now. <laughs> Very good. You're the first one to get on. Uh, That's me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I've been getting your newsletter. Good job. Good oh, job. thank you. Um, can, you can tell how many people open it, right? You yes. Set, right. Yeah. How, they, how many open, how, how many is delivered to, I think I'm at like uh, 93, 94%. So that's good. Ah, okay, perfect, perfect. Yeah, for the delivery. So nobody reported me as an abuse. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need to add more people to my list. I think I have my taste yes. too high. How are you doing that? You just add them manually? Uh, yeah, to my mailing list. I'm trying to separate my mailing list from like other brokers to clients. Yes. So, and then some, the newsletter I send to everybody and then I want to separate them. That's work. <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay, great. So yeah, it's uh, you're gonna get more and more organized. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's better. Oh, oh it's too high. <laughs> yes. Yes. I have one of these uh, tables that can convert. It. Uh, it opens up, so, but that was too high. <laughs> That's better. Right. Was it easy for you to get on? Yeah, I just go to Zoom and, um, yeah, go to Zoom and it's in there already and I just click on and then actually it told me to wait until you, the host came. Yeah. So I just checked back and you, boom, you were there. Perfect. Sometimes I think you would send an email and then you could click on the link, but I didn't get an email. No, really? I, you didn't get it? Um, not just now. Let me check. Whoops. Yeah, no, no email. You, you, did, you didn't get an email that says... Um, uh, the mastermind is in a few hours. No, I didn't get that. Mm. I'm checking. That's why you don't see now. No, the last one I got um, for me was at five this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah, it said it's about to happen, but that was like five o'clock this morning. Uh, let me see. Uh, you should have got the one that says um, one hour left to our international. I didn't get that one. You didn't get that? No. Okay. At least not in that, and not in my compass email. I didn't check the other emails. Because mm -hmm. I have like three emails, and you usually send everything to all three. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. 
All right, let me see. There's more people here. Okay. All right. Admit. There we go. There you go. That sounds better. Okay. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Madeline, Yolanda. Uh, I'm going to. Gail. Welcome. There you go. Yeah, so we got lots of representative. We got you. We got UK. We got New York. Two in New York. We got Switzerland, and we got Australia. Yay! Down under. Morning. <laughs> okay. How are you? Fabulous. Looking good, Gary. Great. Fabulous. And here's Jeremy. Jeremy is connecting from. Costa Rica, maybe, almost, <laughs> so that's impressive. Okay, so welcome. Uh, it's, I just wanted to ask, um, we did um, set, set up an automatic system to make sure you can all get on easily. Uh, did you receive the link, okay, everybody, on how to yes. get? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. yes. Okay, great, great, okay. Okay, fantastic. All right, so great. Let's give it a moment uh, just for the late beavers, although they have to learn to up on time because successful people show up on time. On time. <laughs> all right. So um, just, um, you're all unmuted. Uh, just introduce yourself. Uh, we can see the name. Just, just tell us uh, where you're from and your title. Jillian, go for it. Hi, my name is Jillian. I'm from Brooklyn, New York, in New York City, and I'm a real estate agent. Excellent. And Madeline. Hi, I am in uh, Manhattan, New York, Harlem, as a matter of fact. I love living there. And um, in my daytime job, I'm a contracts manager. And uh, the rest of the time, <laughs> All kinds of things. <laughs> yes, yes, and lots of art. Very good. Good job. And Yolanda. Hi, everybody. I'm from Switzerland, central Switzerland. And uh, I do administration in the business of my life partner. We do security systems. We install, project, install, and maintain security systems all over Switzerland. Wow. Mm. Yes, her own amazing security business. And uh, she's taking on investors yeah. in investing in Switzerland and in business. Um, yes. <laughs> Cheryl. Hello, Dr. Elena. How are you? Fabulous. Looking good, Cheryl. And you? Oh, wonderful. Everything's great here in Seattle. Raining, so we know it's normal. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful. Great, great. Tell us what you do. That you, you're doing something amazing. I am doing things for health and wellness, teaching people to eat right for their microbiome and get healthy and save all their money. And then they can invest it in silver for moving forward. So it's a well-rounded approach. Very good, very good. And we also have Jeremy, who's in nutrition. Jeremy, introduce yourself. Hi, guys. I apologize. I'm having some... Um video camera technical difficulties but i'm in, i'm jeremy i'm an e-commerce entrepreneur and a passive income investor been with dr elena for a long time so uh happy to be a part of the conversation here wonderful welcome welcome when are you leaving for costa rica uh about a week fantastic enjoy thank you welcome gary from down under your, your title and where you're from. Well, we know where you're from, but you can be specific. I'm from Melbourne, Australia, um, and I'm a business systems consultant uh, looking at systems and process management and the implementation of software solutions. Wonderful. And you're connecting from BNI now, right? So you can get. Yes, I have a BNI meeting at the end of this one. Oh, wonderful. Very good. Enjoy. Never waste any time. <laughs> no. and it's early here very good and matt introduce yourself matt okay we'll come back to you matt uh, is the ceo of a very successful non-profit 
and um, one. Unmute yourself. There you go. Hi, everyone. I'm uh, Juan Rojas. I'm a real estate broker in Miami, Florida. I've known Elena for uh, probably about 15 years or so. Uh, she... uh -oh. <laughs> Very good. And, um, and um, Juan wants all of us to have a summer home in Miami, yes? Because that's the most fun place on earth. <laughs> we'll, we'll work on that. <laughs> it's like 90 degrees right now. 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, it's, it's 101 or 02 here in Vegas. So uh, I choose uh, Miami. I choose Miami. There you go. So let's see. Uh, there is a person with the iPhone. I don't know who that is. Uh, Nancy. iPhone. Nancy. Nancy. Hi, Nancy. From I'm, I'm walking dogs, Elena. So I'm oh, I love it. I love it. Very good. So we have some nice dogs on the mastermind too. They're important. And, um, and actually later on, uh, I have one of my questions for you all is about that. Okay. So very good. Um, welcome. Welcome, Nancy. And, uh, and our Lady Gail. Uh, I love that title. <laughs> Yes, hi everyone. I'm Gail from the UK. And so it's uh, just about nine o'clock in the evening here. And, uh, and I uh, specialize in lymphedema, medical condition. And I have a very large network marketing business at the top level, so a national vice president, which is in uh, six countries. So I've been with Elena quite some time now, from the ground roots ground up, up, shall we say, definitely. Sounds good, definitely. good. Uh, there is an So, so if you plug in a maybe yeah. somebody else, somebody else. Yeah. That may help, okay? Everybody use a headset. Um, I use a microphone, which helps me, helps, helps focus on my voice and not on background sounds, because when we have a lot of people, this can happen. And we have somebody, Milena. Milena? Milena from Japan? Okay, she's probably figuring out the mic. All right, so uh, more people will come on, but let's get going. So I like to have this um, mastermind. Uh, not everybody can join at this uh, time from all over the world, but whenever you can, it's good because um, this is where you can have for now uh, really some of the best ma the best ideas to help you move forward uh, just like um, Einstein said you know to to solve problems you cannot have the same mindset of when you start so this mastermind offer you um, the um, the opportunity to, um, to to do exactly that to, to just have a new perspective, a new mindset, so that you can, um, you can see new horizons, yes? Because remember, everything comes from people. Money, investments, and businesses. So we all, we're all helping one another. I vetted all of you. I think you, you are all some of the best people on the planet. And I really believe that, not only with your mindset, but with your big heart. So it's my pleasure to be able to assist you to, to move to the next level in your life. So these masterminds have been invented by uh, Napoleon Hill. And um, today we left this open topic on purpose because uh, some of you um, have different questions. Some are personal, some are business related, some are, um, some are um, money related, some are relationship related, some are health related. So sometimes I like to give it a topic. Sometimes I like to leave it open like today. And I actually, I have a question for you all that's um, about a non-profit, but I'll ask that later. So what happens, I'll, I'm, my role is to basically be the timekeeper. 
okay? And to make sure that if you have a loud background, I mute you so we can hear everybody. Let me see, and we are recording, okay? So, and, um, and just keep the pace so we can have as much covered as possible, okay? So, it's confidential, you're all like-minded, like-hearted, you all have different resources because you are from different parts of the world and different continents. So utilize everybody's contacts, ideas, maybe resources they have in their country and not in yours and so on, because I know you all want to be global and, uh, or uh, more global. That's the success. Um, nowadays, you know, we're all one, one, one country, right? One world. That's, that's part of success. So there you go. So some of you have more experience with this format than others. If you do, please uh, go first and be in the hot seat for a few minutes. Be very clear with the question, the problem you present to the group to get, to get ideas for solutions for yes so um maybe some of you already have um an idea of what to ask if not i'll go okay so so um raise your hand let me see let me see here okay there you go um raise uh, raise your hand raise your hand if you if you want to start some people let me see um are not on video, so I'll unmute you all. Okay, anybody who wants to start? Elena, I'm just gonna listen because I'm walking the dogs. Okay, no problem, no problem. But you can still participate, okay? You can mute yeah. yourself when, when they bark. <laughs> Although, a few barks are good. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, <clears throat> Okay, anybody? Okay, Matt, go for it. Uh, we can't hear you, darling. We couldn't hear you, uh, let me see, earlier either, um, when I um, asked you to introduce Can Can you hear me now? Good. Mm -hmm. All right, is it noisy because I took off my headphones? Um, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Well, my question, my question is about investing. So, is it okay to ask an investing question, Elena? Of course, always. Okay. Um, so, my question is obviously, as a part-time investor, I'm always looking for new opportunities, and having a, a day job means I'm not doing this full time. So, I'm just interested to know from others who may be also interested in investing um, how about it for what screen use to evaluate investments um, there's a lot more investments one could put their limited money into than what everybody chooses so I'm interested to know from others you know what kind of criteria they use to invest um, something really for optimal returns not just stocks and bonds which is a very regulated and efficient capital market but especially for alternative investments like many of us who've been through the millionaire mind work uh, look for, you know, what your criteria are and how you go about screening that. Okay. All right, Matt, uh, your audio is still not the best. Okay. Improve it for next time. Uh, so Matt is asking a twofold question. If you have any idea for investment and two, um, if, um, how do you, um, what's your personal criteria to select a good investment? Is that accurate? Matt? Yeah. Okay. All right, so anybody who would like to contribute? Hey, Elena, I don't, I don't mind going. Go for it, Jeremy. I'm trying to figure out how to raise my hand, but I figured I'd just speak up instead. Perfect. Hey, Matt, my name's Jeremy. Uh, i am also been building my business as well as trying to develop as a more engaged, passive income investor at least as far as the criteria, two, two things that are the largest to me. The first one is the element of compounding. So anything that I participate in, by and large, has to have a compounding element to it, where returns 
compound returns, right? So that gives you an accelerated growth element. The second is liquidity. Um, obviously, not all asset classes have the, the luxury of liquidity, and there's a lot of factors. Um, but if I can get both of those, that's a pretty fantastic uh, position to be in. And oftentimes, there's good rates of return. I know that Elena has introduced me to some uh, of the members here in this group uh, as far as vehicles. And um, I'm sure she can, she can do the same in terms of introductions. But those, those are, by and large, the criteria that I look for, as well as, obviously, a reasonable rate of return. Great. Thank you, Jeremy. Anybody else has something to add? Uh, so we're talking about investments. Are you, are you um, Matt, are you open uh, with uh, any um, investment capital? Amount? Add a little bit, if you like. Um, one, one of my thoughts is that if you're venturing into something new that uh, you're not, don't have a great deal of knowledge about is to do some research. Um, and get as much information as you can and be prepared to start small. Um, start with something that you can, if, uh, if all things went bad, that uh, something that you could afford to lose. And then as you build on your experience and your relationship with whoever you're investing in, then you can expand on what you're doing then. And Gab, are you open to investors for your, um, for your software? Um, the software is not actually mine, but um, I do the implementation, so I'm not sure of the value of that at this point in time. Um, okay, okay. Okay, Somebody, uh, um, he's looking for investors, this is your chance to say it, and it may not be that we are ready to invest, but maybe somebody will. Sure. <coughs> um, I'm gonna ask you that if if you um, if you don't have something to say, please mute yourself. Um, a lot of background noises, okay? And then you can unmute yourself when you're ready to participate. Very good. Any any more feedback on um, on investments? If not, we'll move on to the next question. All right, great question, Matt. Very nice. Good job. And uh, let's see. So, um, anybody else has a hot pressing question in any area of life that would like some feedback on from trusted, high caliber, very smart in every way? Oh, I have one. Madeline, go for it. Okay, it just occurred to me. Um, I've only been working with Elena, I'm not sure it's quite a year, so I'm kind of a newbie. But one of the things that I find difficult is managing my time. I have a full-time job, which is wonderful because it's kind of supporting me through doing some new things. But then when it comes to managing my time and energy with those new endeavors, I sometimes get a little overwhelmed and overpowered. So I would love suggestions about that. Time management? Yeah. Okay. So um, maybe some of you use a specific system or criteria or software or tool. Uh, if you're happy with that and would like to share it. Um, Madeline lives in the Big Apple, so the city that never sleeps, where yeah. you never can never take time off. So I can see how that's even more challenging over there. <laughs> A lot of distractions. <laughs> okay, Matt, can you unmute yourself? Let's see. Okay. All right, so Madeline, just, just a question, just to clarify, are there certain areas that the overwhelm or the breakdowns are happening in so we can figure out how to best respond? Um, well, let me see. Um, one thing I've already narrowed down is, is how many different new kind of 
online courses or whatever that I'm taking in. But the two areas, the one, one area, for instance, I'm uh, pursuing uh, a voiceover career again. Now, the voiceovers require all kinds of different study and practice. And, and so I think it's, it's managing when, say when I work on, I don't know if this is making any sense if you don't know anything about performing or voiceovers, but you need time to practice the actual skill. Then you need time to set up a new website, take some headshots, take another acting class. I mean, it, it seems like it's kind of endless. So uh, does that help clarify my uh, scattered uh, yeah. issue here? And just a I lot of for, moving parts. I think for me, I'll just, I'll just answer generally because we're all doing different things. I mean, I work, yeah. I'm the CEO of a nonprofit here in Rockham County, New York. So I have a pretty full day job. I've got a wife and two kids and I'm also doing part-time investing and down the line. I know for me, it's all about managing distraction. And so if I have lots of little things that are distracting me, I have to snip them and get rid of them so that I can then focus on the big thing. It's hard for me to focus on something big when I've got nuisance things that are buzzing in the back of my head. So my strategy generally from morning till night tends to be snip away all the little tedious things because there's only gonna ever be two to three big things that really call my attention and everything else is sort of noise. And so I just try to put the noise in the background so I can focus on two or three things for the day and set that as my agenda. Instead of, oh, I need to do this and running off and doing it, even though it's only 10 minutes, you just say, okay. okay. Thank yeah, you. I, find, I, find that, I find that distractions usually come in pairs or trios. And if I get distracted by one thing, it's gonna to lead to another thing. So if I can just focus on five things in 30 minutes quickly, that gives me the next hour to focus on something big until the next distractions come in. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. Uh, let's let Gary uh, go first and then maybe Gary. Gary, how did you manage the, the hand signal? Where did you find uh, it? There's a button down the bottom next to mute me when I've got a list the participants in the right hand side and there's a up, raise hand and lower hand okay fantastic raise it back on everybody so that makes it easier very good jeremy just raised it okay go for it gary one of the things that i've found having to deal with multiple things is to use use a calendar and i use google calendar i have and I put personal things and business things in there. And uh, then once, so planning out the week at the end of the previous week, so I know the things that I need to do, I allocate the time. And then I work through trying to keep to that as close as possible. Doesn't always work, things sometimes get in the way, but what I tend to do now is if there's something in the calendar, I move it rather than delete it if it can't happen due to other things but the calendar becomes a priority and allow the calendar to be the boss rather than you be the boss of the calendar those two things we get through all of the things that i need to get through during the week thank you very nice and uh, let's see sorry i forgot to give the instructions um madeline always remember to say thank you or um oh. More, okay. I did. It wasn't loud enough. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Hi there, Madeline. I was going to say, have you done that? Uh, I don't know how many hours you're looking for in your week, but have you done that fabulous exercise where you literally diarize and document minute by minute, 15 minute by 15 minute, whatever it is, of your, what you're doing from the moment you wake up? So how long you're in the bathroom, how long before you leave the house, your journey time to work, how long you're at work, when your breaks are, and literally document every, everything you do for set that seven days or if it's needed for two weeks to see where you can, uh, as we were talking about uh, distractions, where you can cut those things out to create that time because so many people don't realize how much time they actually have. And there is so much wasted time, but we think we're busy. And so when you actually put it in black and white, it really does open up your diary. And then it's that 
to, for me, it's that discipline of always the night before writing down what I need to do the next day so I don't have to waste time in the morning. I'm straight on it because my head is already focused in what I've absolutely got to do. And so that list is there and it's ticked. Okay, I, well, I, I, have never, um, I have never documented all of that. I think that might be kind of frighteningly, <laughs> frighteningly <laughs> revealing. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah, that's, that's great. Oh. I'll do it. Okay, fantastic. And uh, Jeremy? Something to add? Hey, Madeline. There's a book that many of you may have read by Gary Keller called The One Thing. And it, the, basically the premise of it is what one thing can we accomplish every day that would make that task or that idea or that area in our life, what, what, what could we do? What one thing that would move the needle so astronomically or it would make that future task go away? So if there's something that you're doing on a daily basis that you could systematize, outsource, leverage technology, what have you, or if you could just sit down in a quiet room and bang something out in an hour that would normally take you a couple hours with distractions, whatever the case may be, isolate that one thing per day that would monumentally move the needle in your life and repeat that. So you have five tasks per week that are life changing and that compounds on itself amazingly. And it's very tangible and digestible because it's just one thing. Wonderful. Thank you. I'll look that up. But I like the time diary too. I've done that. It's pretty scary. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Was that helpful? Oh, we, we take one more. One, go for it. Unmute yourself. There you go. Well, I mean, I was just going to say that I think time management is definitely an issue for all of us. I mean, it definitely is an issue for me. It has been in the past. It continues to be I have a wife, I have two kids, I try to fit in some exercise and, can you hear me okay? Yeah, yeah and a dog, and Matt has and a, and a dog, right? And, uh, and so I think I, I've accepted just over the years that I'm never going to have enough time to do everything that I want to do. So I've just sort of accepted that. Um, and the other thing, but you know, that I've- But he to come see his coach in person <laughs> yes, I made, I made time for that. But so, so I guess what I've realized, and, and this is still like a continuing sort of struggle, you know, navigating uh, this, this whole process with Elena. She recenters me every single, every couple of weeks. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's why, you know, I, I keep her around because she recenters me. Yeah. But the other thing that I've realized is that, um, is that I, I guess I just have to do just, just one thing. Like there's so many things that I, that I would like to do, um, but I can't. And so I, now I try to focus on just one thing at a time and doing that and then moving on to the next thing mm -hmm. and then moving on to the next thing and, and just one project at a time. And then uh, that in itself, I, can, I think for me, it starts to help me sort of build that confidence that that I can plan to do something, accomplish it, complete it, and then move on to the next task. And then, you know, anyway, that's, that's helped me. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank all of them. Thanks to all of you. Now I have more on my plate to take care of. No, I'm teasing. <laughs> okay, these are systems to make it easier. Okay. Choose uh, the one that yes. was best for you. All right. So we have some late comers. Um, just uh, um, I, I mean, my, I don't know if there was a technical glitch. Did you, did you all have had a hard, uh, had a hard time receiving the Zoom link to access, or was it only no. for people? No, no yeah. problem. Okay, I, I just got it. Thanks. Lena. Okay, I'm sorry, DJ. Maybe um, I don't know. I don't know what's the next time. I don't know. I'll, ch I'll check with my IT, but make sure in the future. Okay. Register it will always be free for you guys. So just register on time so that um, you'll receive the link. All right, good job, everybody. So let's, um, any more question? Burning question, anybody? Feel free to unmute yourself. Okay, very good. Uh, Elena? Yes, so we let the lady go first. Cheryl, go for it. 
I couldn't find, I was looking for that raise hand, but this is for Madeline. Some things that have helped me when I've been in the situation that you're in, when I was working full time, is I would pick the most important thing to do and, and get that done the next day. Like he was saying the one thing long before the one thing came out, but there's one thing that you really want to do. And what is that? Make sure you schedule that. Take it to work with you. Do it on your lunch break. Do it on the break. Sometimes there's a, there's times at work where you can fit in something and still yeah. be truly working at your job. I found that very helpful. And the other thing I read, oh my goodness, close to 40 years ago. That's how old I am. There was this lady, she wrote a best selling book. And she didn't write the book until she stopped having the cleanest bathroom in the world. She was spending so <laughs> much time on her housekeeping. And she realized, I'm never going to get my book written if I have this standard of housekeeping. So she said, <laughs> heck with the bathroom. I'm going to write my book. And then she would work on the book and then fit in housekeeping around that. And I thought that was really cool. So those are two things that I wanted Fabulous. to share. There might be something you can oh, let go you. of for a time. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I like it. Thank you. <laughs> Very good. Wonderful. Okay. So one has a new question. Unmute yourself and go for it. Ask the group. Unmute yourself. Actually, yeah, actually, it wasn't going to be a new question. I was just going to uh, maybe add to, to this. And I think a portion of that is it's also about energy management. Mm -hmm. So I find that I, 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 I function better, more productively. I'm able to focus more like when I get a good night's sleep, right? So I think everyone has, you know, we've all heard that you have to get a, you know, a good, I don't know, seven, eight hours of sleep, just get a good night's sleep. But for me personally, what I've realized uh, just over the years is that I tend to sleep in, in 90 minute cycles. Um, and I think there's some science behind this, but anyway, I'm just sharing with you what works for me. And so like, I know that if I sleep, for example, like if I go to sleep at 11, at, at 11 p.m., um, and I wake up around five. If, so if I sleep six hours, I wake up around five and I'm good. But if I sleep like seven hours, then, and I don't know if, again, I, this just works for me. If I sleep seven hours, then by the time I wake up into my seventh hour, I'm like, I'm just in my deep, deep sleep. And so I feel like I slept one hour. I don't know if that make, makes any sense. So anyway, so, so okay. now, so now I've, like whenever I'm going to sleep, if I have enough time to sleep seven and a half hours, right? Like in 90 minute cycles, then I'll do that. If I don't have enough time, then I'd rather stay up a little bit later and just get a solid six. And I've realized that for me, I wake up more refreshed around that six hour mark or so. And, uh, and anyway, I wake up easier. I'm not as groggy. I'm more focused. I'm, I'm more awake faster than if I slept sometimes even longer. So anyway, wow. I don't know if that helps. Thank well, worth trying. Very good, very Thank good. You. Thank Great. you. Great. All right. So I'm gonna ask a question. May I? Yes. Okay. Thank you. So some of you may know that uh, I also run a nonprofit besides my cor corporate work, and that's of course all volunteer. And what this uh, nonprofit does is. Um, Rest, rest animals, animals, and uh, and pairs them up, and rehabilitates them, and pairs them up with uh, veterans, and post traumatic stress disorder from the war, um, autistic kids because research shows that um, there are lots of benefits from uh, pet therapy. Also with elders at, at, in hospital and hospice and um, nursing homes that are dealing maybe with some sickness, etc. And then um, also animals in the workplace. Uh, a lot of new companies that are more cutting edge, like Google, Facebook, not new companies, but um, new, new, newer in technology, have um, are allowing, thanks to... Um, new programs, animals in the workplace, um, of course, making sure they're trained because they know that increases job satisfaction and uh, retention. And so this is what the nonprofit does. It's completely 100% um, on donations and also from the government, thanks to grant writing. So 
every so often um, I have to I have to basically add more um, more advisory members or board members. Again, it's um, it's something volunteer. Uh, if you have just half hour a, a year to just read a report and maybe give your opinion or forward it, it's um there is no you know there is no minimum or maximum commitment. But I know some of you, some of you are, um, some of these topics are close to your heart or close to the heart of some of the people you love. So um, you can tell me here or send me an email if you want to be listed on um, our nonprofit website as either a board member, very part time, or advisory, which means we give an advice. Um, that may help your business as well because they can see that you also participate in with the community into new initiatives and so on. Is that is my uh, request clear? Yeah, that sounds good. yeah. Okay, fabulous. Okay, fabulous. So that that was all, and <laughs> okay. So that gave you a little more time to reflect on the next question. Go for it. So. Um, just for those newcomers, you can ask questions about anything in terms of career, business, personal health, relations, environment. Uh, use the um, unmute yourself or use the hand button on your control panel by the mute button. And do know that all of these people here are um, vetted personally and have had tremendous success in their life in different areas and have a lot to contribute and they are from all five continents so take advantage of um, all of our resources all together okay so, so i i don't know where the hand is yes uh, yeah okay good go for it yolanda <laughs> okay so my big issue is investment but i am or we in our business are looking for investment investors or yeah for our business because we have a, a new market that we want to uh, how should I say Explore. that we want to enter yeah and uh, for that business we need we need money and it's about a detection system that saves that can save people from drowning we do a uh, detection system, we install detection systems in uh, swimming pools, public swimming pools or private. So this is um, cameras installed in the pools and connected to a computer with a very specific software. And we have received the, um, uh, the right to distribute these systems in Switzerland, Germany, Austria and France. Congratulations. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And so this needs uh, a lot of work and a lot of money, marketing and uh, personnel. Okay, make us an offer. Um, what's the minimum amount of capital you're willing to accept? And what do you think the projected rate of return may be? Um, and uh, again, if we are not ready, maybe we know somebody who is. Go for it. Mm -hmm. So, actually, we are looking for uh, 300,000 Swiss francs, but uh, the amounts can be less. Uh, I would say 20,000 Swiss francs, and uh, it's about 5% per year we pay. That's uh, how it is here in Switzerland. Okay. Return on investment. Let's do the, I'm going to do the conversion. conversion. Yeah. So people know Swiss franc into dollars. No, it's, it's almost the same as dollars. Same. Okay, so 20,000. Yeah, you're right. It's the same. So 20,000 yeah. Swiss franc is 20,000 US dollars. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, can I ask a question, Yolanda? Yeah, sure. Do you have any kind of offering uh, memorandum or prospectus or even a one pager that would be something that I could look at or circulate to others who do passive income investing? I think I don't really understand what you're meaning. Well, Can do you, you have any, 
any document that would outline almost like a term sheet it would out outline the key terms of you know your company its background what you're looking to do the market potential you know just things that would define loosely the terms and conditions so that a prospective investor could get a sense of what they're investing in and then of course they could always do further due diligence by talking to about specific questions. Yolanda, yes, of course. put something in writing and send it to me. Uh, okay. And, uh, circulate it, okay? But it has to be in writing, otherwise people forget. Yes, of course, I understand. I can do that, sure. Perfect, very good. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yolanda, I have a quick question for you. You said that your company has the right in these four countries for this technology. Does that mean that it's a patented technology or there's intellectual property that's protected behind, behind it? Yes, it's a, it's a Norwegian company who sells it and they gave us the right to sell all these, uh, these systems in these four countries. Do they give you they, the exclusive They develop, right? they develop and they, they look for, for companies who sell. Okay, so you guys would be like, a, a, you, you're a, a distributor. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's how it is. Excellent. Thank you very much. Very good. So you got a little homework, Yolanda. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I look forward to. <laughs> very nice. Anybody else has uh, uh, feedback on this uh, type of security, new investment? If not, we'll move on. Mm -hmm. Feel free to unmute yourself. Hi, Nancy. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I dropped the dogs off and now I'm just on my way to pick up my daughter to take wow. her to an appointment. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. So, um, okay, anybody else? Um, don't be shy, okay? You're among trusted friends. I'm sure you become friends and uh, we all have each other's back. So, I have a question. Yeah, go for it, Jillian. Um, can anybody, I, I'm into real estate, as I said, can anybody give me any uh, ideas um, how I can gain more clients? Um, like through marketing or um, some different campaigns? Okay, so Jillian, um, just give us a little more background. Jillian is in uh, Brooklyn. Uh, Donald, I know he has uh, new projects in, uh, in that area. Maybe the two of you partner up. But tell us what's your specialty, uh, what type of um, perhaps properties you like, you enjoy buying, so, selling, renting. And maybe tell us what you, have, um, what you have used so far that you like or what you, in terms of um, marketing. I know you're using newsletters. She's got great newsletters. You should sign up for her newsletters. Okay, go oh. for it. Well, that's um, actually that would help right there. Just getting more people involved, so I can send my newsletters. I do use um, social media, Instagram. Um, I'm not really too familiar with the Facebook ads. So, in other words, I'm a broker. I'm sorry, and I right now specializing into sales, and mostly my sales are in Brooklyn. So that's why I'm looking for clients, um, buyers, sellers. Is the question clear, everybody? Okay, one from Miami, go for it. Hi, Jillian, how are you? So just to clarify, you're, you're a real estate broker yes. in, in Brooklyn? Yes. Okay. Um, I don't know if you know, but like in the last, how long have you been in, in real estate? I've been in real estate for 10 years and just not doing rentals and now I'm transi transitioning into sales. Okay. So about, eh, about a year now. About a year into sales? Into sales, yeah. And where would you say that most of your renters came from before? Brooklyn, yeah. But, but how did you find them? Um, by placing ads on uh, Craigslist, Street Easy, that was the majority of it by advertising on Craigslist and Street Easy. Okay. And can you do that 
in Brooklyn, like in, in that area with for sales? In, in other words, instead of advertising rentals, could you advertise properties that are for sale in those same, like in Craigslist and that other? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, yeah, because Street Easy, I believe, is just in New York. Uh, Street Easy is like a Zillow. Or okay. Children. You're familiar with that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I, I can do that, but my, I'm trying to get the clientele. It's like you know, how to get that clientele to come to you. <laughs> the clientele. So, you know, the reason I ask is that, you know, when I, when I analyzed like some of my personal deals for the last, I mean, literally for the last 10 years, I realized that um, probably more than like 85% of my business came and still comes from people that I already know or like let's say people like you guys that i might just somehow interact with and then like elena for example has referred me people that she knows and so um so what i where before i was you know i would go out and look for strangers to become customers mm -hmm. now i focus more on like uh like strengthening the relationships that i already have and so if i'm gonna spend money on marketing i'd rather spend it on uh, you know, taking Elena out to a nice dinner, <laughs> right? <laughs> and seriously, or or Jillian, if I'm in Brooklyn, I'd rather do that than spend than spending the money on strangers because because it's just going to be for me a better return uh, on on the investment. So, so a um, referral base for me. That's that's what yeah. has worked, and because I I end up meeting people that are warmer. Mm -hmm. than just cold strangers uh, easier and so the relationship is just it's just that much warmer much easier and so like if I connect with you like Jillian and I help you out then I, I make sure that I go you know that I deliver good value to you because my you know my expectation is is that if I do um, you're gonna be my client for life and so I'm gonna be your realtor in Miami forever and now I have access to all of your network. And as long as I continue to stay in touch with you, right, then it's just going to be very, very natural. So anyway, that's what's worked for me. After spending a lot of money trying to attract strangers, which of course I do, but that customer is just so much more expensive. Makes sense. Warm marketing. And uh, Gillian, I promise you I haven't had anybody who wanted um, real estate in <laughs> Manhattan yet, or I would, or I would. <laughs> I would I would have referred okay I don't hold back but use Madeline she's right there and who's right there yeah, I don't um, know. Well, um, let's see, um, I'll keep my ears open he's in Upper New York but yeah he might be somebody in the scene okay there you go and um, let's see, unmute okay go for it all right hi Jillian how are you I'm good uh, I, I'm uh, under the weather today so I'm going to do my best for you um, so in the real estate world, there is a uh, seminar trainer. His name is Brian Buffini. Uh, there's a Brian Buffini program. You really should adopt it. It's a uh, referral by design concept. Uh, I highly recommend if even if you wanted to become a certified trainer, knowing that you're a broker, if you want to expand your team, uh, it's like $1,300 or so to become a certified trainer with uh, the Buffini program. And it's, again, a referral by design program. It's where you have the ability to teach your current client base how to send you more clients. Uh, it, it's the way to not take good money and chase after bad money. Uh, so that's a suggestion for you. Um, I know that uh, to stay relevant, though, with your current clients, that's always um, uh, something that we look for because I have an umbrella of uh, realtors that work for me. So I'm constantly having to reinvent the concept of our group uh, so that way they still get new business. So if it is new business that you're looking for, uh, we're doing a few things right now. It was interesting that um, that Matt had mentioned the memorandum because we have an investor portal uh, that we're doing for our investors and it's uh, coming along, but it has the ability to do memorandum pages. And uh, this is something that I will offer out just as a seed right now, but to everyone on today's uh, webinar and whatnot that 
for those of you that are looking at product lines, uh, I think it can be done for no matter what the product line is. For me, it would be real estate based as well. But I have the ability, I believe, to create memorandum pages where everyone inside the network can see each other's product line if there's a memorandum which gives you some percentage rates of return. So it's interesting that Matt said that because Matt actually is, uh, um, I've had an opportunity to work with Matt as well and that's something that he's very detail oriented on and he really looks for that and that's something that I even myself need to develop. So I have the product now, but I need to develop it. So what I'm suggesting is, is as I develop it, I will share it here. And then for those of you like Madeline that has a different type of a product line or the parties that had that investment, um, uh, that investment uh, where you were looking for other investors, that might be something that I could work with Elena on to be able to give you guys a way to offer a memorandum page on actually our site. So I'll look into that a little bit more. I'll let Elena know along the way, but that'll help out all customers, including my own. I know it would help out Matt because I know that's something that he looks for in his investment that he even has here in the Las Vegas market. Uh, but going back to you, Jillian, um, another way to bring on new business that we're doing right now um, is a business to business support program. And it's really where we help other businesses uh, breed and expand their success and what I found is most businesses have trouble bringing in repeat customers so we built an advertisement model with our local businesses for our Realtors and what we did is we uh, approached the business and said are you getting the repeat business that you think you want or deserve or should have and what we and the answer is almost always no and so we basically are teaming up with local businesses to teach them how to advertise a, um, an entry level product or service that they provide. We advertise it on our flyers and we literally will do door to door open houses with their product line on it. And we'll pay for the marketing. We pay for the design of their product on our marketing on side one, let's say, and on side two, it has a, an, an opportunity for people who are interested in real estate to give us a text for what we call the ultimate profit guide, which is something that we're taking digital now as well. So what are the type of clients that you can pick up? Um, so we picked up a computer store. So what they did is they said, we're not getting enough repeat business. And I said, well, let us help you with that. And they're offering earbud, wireless Bluetooth earbuds for $50 of purchase in their store. So with every $50, you get these free wireless earbuds. And I'm like, wow, that's great. Why don't we advertise that on our flyer? And now we're doing a business to business cross endorsement. And in return, they're literally stapling my inventory on their receipts with everyone who comes in through their door. So, so with that, this computer store, just in the conversation of having how we're going to help them, they gave me three clients. All right. So just because I offered to help their business in that way. Now, on top of that, we're being stapled. Now, you don't have to limit it to computer stores. We actually expanded it to restaurants. So restaurants that are doing drive through service, delivery service, our flyers are going into their um, take homes or their takeaways. So it's giving us third party endorsement for our product line in real estate. And that's also helping my agents keep a volume of business in their model, all right? Now, what was interesting is one of the referrals that we got from the computer store was a manager for the Comfort Inn, and the Comfort Inn said their biggest complaint is the people that come and stay at the Comfort Inn in Las Vegas asked them, how do they buy real estate in Las Vegas? And I said, that's great because we would help them. So what Comfort Inn wanted to do is they wanted to advertise continental breakfast, happy hours at five o'clock all the different things that Comfort Inn has to offer. And what they do now is every time they give out room keys to their guests, their, their room key information and all the things that they do is on one side of the flyer. And when you flip that over, it's how to buy real estate in Las Vegas. So, so that's a way for you to generate new business as well. And, and it's not hard to do. It's where you take your relationship and you and I've had a chance to talk in the past you got a great personality. This is very easy. As fast as I spoke to you about this, you could throw it together. And you will see stuff like this. I think you're in my email network. 
Um, but this is something that we're putting together for our realtors and we're uh, about to launch it because it was successful on the very low beta test end. So mm -hmm. we're about to bring it full screen for everyone. And everyone here, you're welcome to do that because you could do it for any type of product that you want to sell. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And generous of you. And uh, heal, heal yourself, okay? All right. So, um, wow. Cheryl, was that you that you have the natural medicine, right, for the gut? Okay. So email me, email me um, a link. Uh, and more information because we have somebody who's interested so I can forward it, okay? Thank you. All right, so very good. I want to respect everybody's time. So Milena from Japan got up at five to be here. Uh -huh. oh. uh, the um, Yolanda in Europe, she it's 10 p.m. and she's not a night person. And, <laughs> <laughs> and let's see, Gary is pretty early for him too, down under. And so um, I'm really impressed. So I wanted to, um, and for some of you in the middle of the business, business day in the US, so I do appreciate your commitment. I hope you got something great out of it. And um, good, <laughs> you have some topics that you're interested in sharing. Uh, please let me know and uh, we'll co-facilitate some together. So I know in uh, the first Wednesday of July, same time, same day, basically, which is Thursday in Asia and Australia. It's going to be on passive income, and uh, an expert will co-facilitate it with me. But if you find this helpful, um, we can even do them more frequently. Do you think you'd prefer to do them uh, once a month or, uh, or every yeah. other week? Um, do you have a preference? Uh, you can unmute yourself or, or tell me in the chat box. I just wanted to gauge, gauge where you're at. And that's uh, because I know some of you told me in, um, in private that you, um, you wanted more information about how to run online business, how to, you know, resources such as uh, best, best books. Some of you uh, wanted to have better tips about how to find the right personnel, contractors, interns, etc. cetera. Um, so, okay, so you says, okay, okay, very good. Anybody else has uh, more feedback about what you would like the frequency to be? And I know Dawn wants to co facilitate one in the future. Okay, okay, so okay, once a month. Okay. And wonderful. And feel free to bring your uh, life or business partner or anybody that can benefit and also offer great ideas and solutions to the group. Okay, all right, so we'll keep it to once a month. So the next one is gonna be about passive income and, uh, and it's going to be on, um, you know, you get the reminder. Going to be, but make sure you register, okay? Otherwise you won't receive the link. We do have an automatic system. Otherwise I have to manually send you the invitation. I don't have time for that. So uh, the, next one, the next one is going to be the day before the 4th of July for uh, our American friends. So hopefully you're in a good mood that day because you're about to, to go on vacation and an extra long weekend. So it's going to be July 3rd for the Americans, for, the, for Asia and Australia. And it's going to be July 4th, our Independence Day. Okay, same time. All right, very good. So. Um, so if you, um, we are at the top of the hour. If you have one last burning question, we can ask. If not, you're off the hook. Uh, <laughs> especially new people like DJ, Tim, uh, Nancy, feel free to unmute yourself. Okay, DJ, go for it. Uh, I have an accountability group. It's for life and business. Uh, we meet on Fridays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're gonna be starting a new session looking for people that would be interested and showing up for a half hour or 45 minute uh, uh, Google Hangout and uh, basically be accountable to the group. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you can learn more if you wanna to go to a Facebook group. It's called Accountability for Success. And uh, ask to join and uh, you can learn more there if you wanna be a part of that. Uh, it's something I've done for about 10 years and it really helps you grow in business and in life. 
So okay. keep I'm, I'm putting it here in the chat for everybody. It's called Accountability for Success. It's a Facebook group. Yep, that's it. Thank you. And you guys still use Google Hangout? Does that thing still work? <laughs> I know it does. That is. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a format we've settled on. So, <laughs> well, <laughs> I know you've had success with that, with that group. So, great. It's free, everybody. So, feel free to use it. Um, very good. Very good. Okay. All right. I'm sure there are some other ones, Nancy, uh, but uh, maybe, um, maybe check on that group. They may know of some other ones or some other times. Okay. Any other question, anybody? Um, or... Um, or like a nice comment to uh, to bless everybody for this oh, amazing June month. I particularly felt blessed today. I got so many wonderful suggestions. Thank you to everybody. You're very welcome. really good about that. <laughs> wonderful. Okay, thank you all for participating. Thank you for having us. I'm so yes. grateful. Thank you, Elena. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Thank you very much, everybody. Yeah. You are thank amazing. you, Elena. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Well, spread the information, spread the intelligence, and uh, I'm raising my coffee. I'm Italian. This is my drug of choice. So, <laughs> <laughs> to your uh, to your successful month. I love you, you all, too. and uh, I'll put everybody in touch uh, for whatever you requested. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Month, if thank not you. sooner. Ciao, bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Ciao.